Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Today we got a new game on Steam. Doesn't have uh, any kind of videos yet. Uh, doesn't even have any reviews up on Steam right now. Two days after it came out on Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and give this game a try. It's on sale for only $2.95 in American money its first week. Uh, just a little bit more than that after uh, its initial week. So not a very expensive game. This is an arcade shooter. Uh, a little better graphics than a lot of them have. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try it out. I did look at the uh, forums for this game on Steam, and people are complaining that while it has uh, support for a Nintendo Wii controller, I don't have a Nintendo Wii controller. Most people don't have a Wii. Most people have an Xbox 360 style controller. Uh, and there is no support for that at the time that I make this video. Uh, it's keyboard only if you don't have a Wii controller. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, with the options, I just want to go ahead and show you guys you do have invert Y, that's your up and down. Uh, a couple of different options for your Wii controllers if you have that. Uh, sound and music are separate. And then you have full screen and uh, resolution. So a lot of different resolutions to choose from. So it does have that. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing going here. And I've already played it through uh, a couple of times and I did set a score of like 23,000. We'll see if I can beat my own score. Once you beat uh, a game on, on new game, you open up different challenges that you can open up as well. Let me go ahead and show you that. So when you first go to challenges, when you first get the game, there won't be anything unlocked. But as you can see with my score of 23,000, I did unlock a uh, Spearkin Invasion, Feel the Force of a Never Ending Nightmare, uh, where you can go in and try to do this stuff. So. A couple of complaints I have early on, again, is of course no uh, standard controller support, twin stick controller support. Uh, the developer says did say in the forums that he does plan on adding that in. When is anybody's guess? It's not up yet. So we're going to go ahead and go new game. And you get three different ships to choose from. This is the one I took last time, and the only reason I chose this is because uh, it has vertical control medium, horizontal control medium, and then your other options are... The Swarm Blaster with a high vertical control and a horizontal low control. And then this one's just vice versa, low vertical control and high horizontal control. I decided to go ahead and take the medium of the pack, uh, medium on both. And uh, you can turn auto fire on as well. But we're going to go ahead and... Oh, this is just your different colors, okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK here. We'll leave auto fire off. And it's either WASD if you're using the keyboard or your arrow buttons, and then spacebar to shoot. It says mouse. <clears throat> it says mouse button to shoot, left or right mouse button to shoot, but the mouse button is not working for me. So this is just kind of like an asteroid game here. Just try not to get hit, basically. Try to destroy as much as you can, but sometimes it's pretty risky. Uh, like that's too close. And then pick up the power ups, I guess. Or whatever those are extra points, I have no idea. It doesn't really doesn't really say what it is. And the other complaint I have is there is no score. Not that you have a lot of time to be looking at the score anyway while you're playing, but it would be nice if you know you could see what your score is from the screen while you're playing. Uh, I don't know why there is no score option or score on the main screen. Kind of weird. I'm gonna try to pick up this bonus here. Oh, I think that's shields, actually. If you look down at the bottom left, you'll see my shield level, and I just got hit. So I have, what, one, two, three, four, five shields remaining. Let's see if I pick up another one of those, if I can stay alive. And see if... Now, another thing, too, when you beat each level, like right now, level complete, you'll start off at full health in the next one. It'll give you score based on the number of asteroids and fragments you got. Obviously, the smaller fragments do give you twice as many points at 100 apiece, and then you get a mission bonus. So... Now you see we're level two, we got a full health, and we are ready for combat. Yikes, I'm not getting nothing yet. And it gets harder, obviously. The controls work pretty good, um, but I just think it would be a lot better if we had a twin stick controller to move. Uh, it would make it a lot easier. I don't know, I just can't get used to the controls on something like this with a keyboard. It's really, really kind of awkward. And I think it still might be a little bit awkward even with a twin stick controller. Just because the controls are, I don't know. 
just not the kind of game that I usually play, I guess. So I die there, 9100. Let's go ahead and give that another try. I'm gonna go ahead and take the same medium ship on both. Tell I got hit there because it sounds like a dull or a hollow metallic sound every time you get hit. All right, let's see if this gives us some, some of our shields back. No, it didn't. I don't know what it gave us. I thought that thing was shields. But is that different? More firepower, maybe? I can't even tell what that is to be honest. I haven't played it that much, but. And you do have to keep mashing down the space bar to shoot. Uh, you can't just hold down the space bar. Maybe we should try that next time. That's probably what the auto fire is, so that you can just hold it down to keep shooting. And that is available in the options when you start. So I'm almost dead, but I did make it through level one, thankfully. Right, we're gonna go ahead and continue here. Prepare for combat. Ah, there we go, I'm getting a little better at this. It's actually not that bad, I mean, it's actually pretty fun. It just takes a little getting used to. I hit there. I hit a couple of times actually. <clears throat> All right, level complete. Let's move on to level three. Equilibrium. Now this, I've already tried this one. You cannot shoot these asteroids. You just kind of got to get out of the way of them. And this one's kind of fun. Ah, I got hit. Darn it. Hit again. 40 seconds to go. Tells you up in the upper right-hand corner. Ooh, that was close. This is kind of putting me on the edge of my seat. I think this, this mode right here is the most fun so far. Where I'm not even having to shoot. I'm just trying to dodge these things. Maybe because I'm not good at doing more than one thing at a time in my old age, I don't know. But yeah, these I've tried to shoot these things several times and they just bullets just bounce right off them. Down, left. Ah! I kind of like how it looks like they... Some of them go right in the center of your screen like they're going to come out and hit you in the head. Come out of your monitor and hit you in the head. Alright, I did go ahead and complete that level. 22,000 so far. Gotta hit enter to continue. Level four, prepare for combat. Now these things, uh, you cannot shoot either. Again, you're just trying to dodge out of these things. And these things actually uh, look for your XY uh, coordinates and they actually aim for you. They are trying to hit you like a magnet. You saw that one hit me, took down one of my health. I don't have a timer on this one either. So I don't know how long I have to survive. Oh, there we go. I just have to get to this boss man here. Then it stops. He doesn't get too close. Now I just have to dodge his thing while I try to blast him away. Oh, it shows his health right there. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I keep hitting my space bar continuously to try to shoot. I might ought to try this with the auto fire on so I can just hold my space bar down. Probably make things a little easier and wear out my keyboard a little less fast. Enemy starship destroyed! Yeah, baby! What do I get for that? Like 10,000? I had 22,000 before this level. So 19,280 points. I got 15,000 for beating that that monster, the mob, the boss, whatever. So I've never been here. New five, level five, a new wave. Wow, these things are moving faster now. 
I wish I knew these green things did. They don't give you shields back, like I thought at first. I don't know if you can... I guess you can just keep going as long as you dodge all these things. If you don't kill any, I guess you would complete the level. Dead. I need to be careful here. Oh, I see. I gotta, I gotta kill so many of them before I, and I almost did. I was too away from completing the level. So you can't just dodge those things. You do have to kill so many of them. The ship has been heavily damaged, but when, uh, when all said and lost, you managed to turn around and fly back to the nearest base. Uh, Forty-seven thousand two eighty is my level on my third game. First time I played it, I got like 4,100. Second time I played it, I got like 2,300. And then the uh, last time I played it right here, 47,000 on my third time. So I am getting better and better at it. All right, so it's letting me play again. Okay. But I'm not going to go ahead and play this again. I think you guys are getting the uh, gist of what this game is like. Uh, is it worth the, $2, the $3 in American money that it is so that it's priced at? I think so. If you like this kind of game, I think you're going to get your $3 worth out of it. I mean, if you play it for an hour, uh, even if it takes you a month to play it for an hour, I think you get your money's worth. So it's not very high priced. Uh, and it's actually pretty fun, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I kind of like it. So hopefully this video kind of helps you out. Once they add the controller support, I think this game will be even better. So for those of you looking for that, you might want to watch for the updates and watch when they add Xbox 360 style twin stick uh, controller support for this game. Uh, but just playing with a keyboard, it's it's actually pretty fun. Uh, and the graphics aren't too terrible. I mean, it looks like 1990s graphics or something like that. You'd play on the old Amiga or Commodore 64 or whatever, but, uh, you know, gra old style graphics have never bothered me, so I'm not one to be put down by that. I just like to enjoy a game that's uh, fun to play, and this one's definitely got that. Uh, is it a game that you're going to play 30, 40 hours? Probably not. But are you going to be able to get you know, an hour or two of fun out of it? Definitely. Uh, I think most people will anyway. So that's my review. I'm going to go ahead and give this game two thumbs up, mainly because of the price. It's not priced too high, uh, and it does get my support. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure you leave your comments down below. Be sure you rate this video if it's helped you make a decision on this particular game. And uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99. Take care.